In 2019 at the Pan American Games in Guatemala, I watched on as Wes Kitt set a new American record in the clean and jerk to claim gold. It was an emotional lift and arguably the most significant of his career. However, perhaps even more important, it was a giant step towards qualifying for the Olympic Games. You see, competing at the Olympics is the pinnacle of any individual athlete's career. Which got me thinking, isn't this kind of a shame that this is something powerlifters would never get to experience? I mean, how great would it be to see John Hack on the Olympic podium, to see Johnny Candido become a full Olympian, or to see the judges somehow find a way to screw Sean Noriega out of a medal? Powerlifting has been a Paralympic sport since 1992, and it is a beloved sport with many fans and many athletes competing across the globe, so there is precedent for its inclusion. And with the rise of social media, powerlifting has gone from strength to strength and is gaining in popularity at an almost exponential rate. And with the recent inclusion of sports such as breakdancing and skateboarding, it does beg the question, why isn't powerlifting an Olympic sport? In order for powerlifting to become a fully recognised Olympic sport, it must first go through a lengthy selection process. Firstly, powerlifting needs to become IOC recognised. Secondly, it must register as part of an international sports federation, at which point it needs to enforce the Olympic Movement Anti-Doping Code and commit to regular out-of-competition doping tests. From here, its sport federation can apply at the IOC to become a sport at the Olympic Games. Currently, powerlifting does have its foot in the door by way of the IPF. The IPF, based on the IOC's feedback, will work extensively to improve itself. They have already made huge strides in improving its social media, live casting events, and media presentation of the sport in general. So powerlifting is right around point two here on its journey to becoming an Olympic sport, and is seemingly trying to demonstrate that it's capable of consistently running a clean federation which complies with the anti-doping laws of the IOC. But before we get too carried away, it's worth noting that becoming an IOC recognized sport puts powerlifting on a short list which also includes darts, fishing and miniature golf. Which although are great sports in their own right, I would highly doubt they would get anywhere near a televised Olympic event. So to put things bluntly, the IPF is powerlifting's best chance of getting into the Olympics and they have structured their entire federation about making that goal a reality. But getting to where they are now has been anything but plain sailing for the IPF. They have had constant rejections and objections by the IOC and it does beg the question, why don't the IOC want a sport that is growing exponentially in popularity? There are several hurdles that powerlifting must tackle in order to become an Olympic sport. I think these can mostly be boiled down to three chief concerns. Number one, raw versus equipped. There are dozens of different federations and different rule sets within powerlifting and there is an ever-growing divide between geared lifting and raw lifting. I personally think that only raw lifting has a realistic chance of being approved. And as much as we might love geared lifting, in my opinion, its image is simply too damaged to be saved from the IOC's point of view. The public impression that all powerlifters are roided up west side barbell lunatics is simply not compatible with modern Olympics. Number two, it's not as exciting as Olympic lifting. When you compare the lifts of powerlifting to that of Olympic lifting, there is simply no denial that they aren't as impressive to watch from a neutral point of view. The range of motion here is the main issue. There is a constant cutting of the range of motion by arching on the bench and sumo deadlifting. It's making the sport less and less interesting to watch, to even people who have a deep understanding of the sport. Number three, doping. Powerlifting has an image problem when it comes to steroid abuse. This is undoubtedly the IOC's biggest concern and the IPF will have to demonstrate that it can effectively run a clean sport if it has any chance of being approved. The fact of the matter is also that weightlifting itself is treading a fine line of being kicked out for this very reason. So why should we care? Gold medals and representing your country on the Olympic stage aside, would this actually be a good thing? Well, believe it or not, there are actually a few reasons why this could be a bad thing. Number one, powerlifting could lose control of its own sport. If powerlifting was to make it in the Olympics, it would need to adhere to the IOC's strict rules and would lose its own independence to make its own decisions. Number two, it could damage equipped lifting. As mentioned before, there is an ever increasing divide between raw and equipped lifting. If raw lifting was to be included in the Olympics, this would greatly impact the attention equipped lifting receives. I think they both have their place in the powerlifting world 
and it would be a great shame if this was the case. Number three, comparing natural to non-natural lifters. Like it or not, there are divisions within the powerlifting world where it is generally accepted that athletes are free to take performance enhancing drugs. So we would in all likelihood end up in a situation where a clean athlete could hit a world record on the Olympic stage, which will be less than what an enhanced lifter had lifted in another competition. This is just not a good look for the sport. Number four, and most importantly, cheating. If we can take any lessons from what is happening in the weightlifting world, it's that the playing field has never been as level as it should be. Is this really something we want to double down on with having powerlifting included in the Olympics? There are three main advantages to having powerlifting in the Olympics. Number one, increased funding. At present, powerlifting is not a professional sport. It pays very little and champion elite lifters often compete at a net loss once travel and accommodation is factored in. Most popular lifters rely heavily on sponsorship and coaching in order to make ends meet. If powerlifting was to make it in the Olympics, it would pave the way for athletes to receive stipends and funding for representing their country. Increased exposure. The Olympics is one of the greatest sporting events in the world and is televised to millions of people. This can only be a good thing for increasing the popularity of the sport. Draw for athletes. Winning a gold medal for your country on the biggest stage is something that will draw in elite level athletes. This could lead to increased competition and will push athletes further and further, hopefully setting more world records and making the sport more exciting. So this is where we stand with powerlifting on the Olympic stage. I'm not really sure what to make of it if I'm totally honest. I recently put a poll on my Instagram and out of 150 votes, over 80% of people wanted powerlifting in the Olympics. Yet only 30% of people thought this would actually be a possibility within 20 years. I can see the reasons why we don't want it in there, but I can't shake the feeling that it would give powerlifters a path to eventually become full-time professional athletes. And as fans of the sport, we should support that.